treat him with the respect that he deserves because he has worked very long time to wear a robe. Okay. All right. You may be seated. This court is now back in session.
feel a certain way, why would they both be exactly on earth? In your statement, you said that the reason. Objection. Hearsay.
come to me, uh, you know, tell me their problems, it kind of just comes with the territory. All right, I would like to ask you about the night of the crime. Were you the ranger on duty the night of June 5th? I was. Did any of the cars appear in the parking lot around 7 p.m.? Uh, I think there were two cars there. Uh, there was a white, I think, sports car, um, and another vehicle there. somebody else running, and they had on a white hat, um, and that looked like the white hat that Britt was wearing when he drove in, um, but other than that, I'm not really sure. No further questions. <clears throat> Thank you. Cross-examination. Thank you. May I proceed, Your Honor? Yes. What is your relationship with Britt Lennon? Uh, I mean, I'm an elder at his church. I mean, as close as I have with any of the people who are in the church. In your witness statement, you say Britt was distraught. Please define distraught. Um, I mean, sad, or, yeah, I guess sad. You could say when you're sad, you can make rash decisions, right? I mean, I think that when you're sad, you can either make rational decisions or irrational. On the night of June 5th, when you went to the Cove, you said it was dark around 8.50, right? I believe so. I can't exactly recall everything from my report. Did you have a flashlight? Um, you know, we have standard issue flashlights. I don't remember if I had it on me at that particular moment. It seems like since it was dark, I probably was walking around with a flashlight, but, you know, I, for all I know, I could have been using my cell phone. When you went down to the cove around 8.50, were you looking for a dead body? No. So, you wouldn't be able to see a dead body right in front of you if it were very dark, right? Well, I mean, if it were right in front of me, I'd probably walk onto it. So since you were not able to see Anne's dead body right in front of you, how would you be able to see someone running to his car a hundred feet away from you? Because the person who I did see, right, the one person I heard can turn around and can kind of see some rubble. The other person I saw because they were wearing a white hat. And so even if it's dark, you can still see light. No further questions. <clears throat>
any tests during high school? Yes. Which test you failed? I cheated on Mr. Longmore's English test and uh, I was retested during for that. How did you cheat on Mr. Longmore's English exam? Well, all the all the people involved in the um, community service program all had a spare key to the English department classrooms. So I used the spare key and I got opened up his cabinet and got the answers to the English and I put it on there. Why did you cheat? Mainly family pressure to get him to cold school. Did you cheat with the buddy? Yes. And um, is he in this courtroom today? Yes. What is his name? Is there an objection? Yes. You have to state that first. Yes. Okay. Objection, may I be heard? <coughs> well, state the basis for the objection, such as objection, leading objection, speculation, objection, something like that. like nobody knows where Joey was. Hmm. What happened next? Objection.
on Monday at school? Monday at school? Um, I had come at like 7-ish to confront the principal about, to tell him what I did, but I chickened out and just went back to class. Were you questioned by the police? Yes. How was that? It was very um, tense, very hostile almost, where um, I asked to see my aunt, he said no. He read, he read me my rights and um, he said, you have, do have the right to an attorney though. It was a very hostile situation. I felt as if I was already a criminal convicted or something. You said that Ms. Marcus and yourself and walked to the bottom of Sandal King to a place called The Cove. Meaning that if you push Miss Marcus, you'd have to dash all the way up the canyon while she was rock climbing, which is nearly Objection. impossible. <clears throat> Sustain it, call it some speculation. Oh. Five minutes. Final question, Your Honor. I'm did sorry. you kill? Huh? I'm sorry, did you say something oh, to me? It was just a question. Oh, go ahead. Did you kill Ann Marcus? No. I feel uh, Jack Shin, we need. To the question of did you kill? I mean, objection.